Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a beautiful particles logo animation. This is 100% editable. You can use your text or the logo. If you are new to this channel, please support me and subscribe to Rizat Graphics. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all open Adobe After Effects, and create a new composition. I am calling it Particles Logo Animation. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Select the text tool from the toolbar, and add your text. Center the anchor point, then align the text to the center. Right click on the text layer, and choose pre-compose. Rename it to the logo build. Double click the logo build layer. Again right click on the text layer, and choose pre-compose. Rename it to the logo here. Keep the logo here layer selected, then select the rectangle tool, and create a mask just like this. Then under the mask, add a keyframe on the mask path. Select the move tool. Go to about 4 seconds on a timeline, and double click the mask anchor points. Hold the shift key on the keyboard and drag the mask position. Our mask animation will look like this. Perfect. Now, set the mask feather to 25 pixels. Go back to the particles logo composition. Enable the 3D option. Then hide the layer. Now, go to the layer. Then New, and select Solid. Rename it to the particles or whatever name you like. Go to the effects and presets, and search the effect particular. Drag and drop to the screen. Go to the particular settings, then under the emitter, change particles per second to 600,000. Change the emitter type to box. Then change the emitter size X, Y, Z value to 0. And change the emitter type to layer. Go to the layer emitter. Change the layer to logo build. Layer sampling to particle birth time. Let's preview it. Looks good to me. Change the velocity to 150. Change the velocity random to 50. Velocity distribution to 1.0. Velocity from motion to 90. Now, under the particles, change the life per second to 1.5, and life random percentage to 100. Change particle type to cloudlet. Change the cloudlet feather to 0. Size random percentage to 100. and size over life to something like this. 
then opacity over life to the last option, and opacity random percentage to 15. Under the shading option, turn on the shadow lit for main, and shadow lit for row options. Go to the shadow lit settings. Change the opacity to 3. And adjust the size to 130. Now, go to physics, under the air. And then under the turbulence field, change the affect position to 150, and fade in time, seconds to 0.1. Change the complexity to 1. And change the wind Y value to minus 100. Finally, go to the rendering, then under the motion blur, and turn on the motion blur. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect sharpen. Drag and drop to the screen. And change the sharpen amount to 100. Let's preview it. Cool. It looks amazing. Go back to the projects panel. Drag and drop the logo here composition. Just below the layers. Right click on it. Go to the effects. And then transition. And select the linear wipe. Change the wipe angle to positive 270 degrees. Make sure you are at the first frame. Change the transition completion value to 100%. And then add a keyframe. Go to about 4 seconds on the timeline. Then change the transition completion value to 0%. Perfect. Now, change the feather amount to 25. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Select the particles layer, and change the velocity to 100, and velocity random to 15. Let's change the text color. Amazing. Now, it looks perfect to me, and I am happy with the results. I hope this was helpful, and you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Good luck.